CRT simulation is finally here and it almost works in every single game. And the purpose is to go from 60 FPS looking absolutely terrible in motion to whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is. This is massive because now we have 240, 360 and up to 500 hertz OLED monitors. And just imagine that all you need is 60 FPS. And when you move the camera, it's like a CRT. It's gonna look in motion almost as good as if you were actually rendering 360 or 500 frames per second. Bro. That's nuts. That's amazing. Now, right now, the app that I know that allows you to do that is called Shader Glass and it's not perfect but here is why this video is so important we need to support the developer because the developer is asking for feedback and he wants to know do you see this working even for just a moment I need to know to see if it is worth you know keep putting work on it and I would say absolutely bro it does work for a moment but it has flickering issues it's like it goes out of sync but when it is working even for that split second it's just incredible I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on right now look what I am doing is and I'm gonna show you how to download the app and how to get this working so what I'm doing is Here's the app, this shader glass app. And as you can see, the game is locked to 60 FPS and I lock the game with the NVIDIA control panel or the NVIDIA app. So I lock the game specifically to 60 frames per second. And then I have the monitor set to 360 Hertz and after burner, so RTSS, Arriva Turner, locked to 360 FPS. So then I'm going to maximize the app. So right now what we're seeing is 360 FPS on top of 60. So you see actually the after burner numbers in both the app and the game. So you see these two lines. So the line at the top, those are the 60 FPS, and the line at the bottom is 360 FPS. So now the CRT simulation is off right now. So I'm going to turn it on and notice the brightness change when I do that. This keyboard, okay, here we go. It's on right now. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, it's on right now off on you see the brightness difference the problem is the the controllers to turn it on actually are moving the character let me turn it off you see the flickering i turn it off and back on again now the thing is this flickering is a sync issue and what happens is I can see it working for a moment and then it goes out but sometimes it just doesn't doesn't get in sync so right now I'm looking at 60 frames per second I'm gonna turn it on so this keyboard is not working it's a wireless keywords so it's like it is very unstable especially in this game this game performance is, is so bad now it is working and when it is working it is like 360 frames per second. It is that clear. But the problem is it goes out of sync. So right now you see a rock solid 360 frames per second. And it has to do with the game performance too. The game performance is not flawless. It's very unstable. But when, it, when it is working, looking at the floor, <laughs> it is so clear, man. It's just like, it's like 360. And it, I do see some uh, very thin and faint black lines going up and down. I don't know how that looks on camera. Let me see. 
No, you don't see flickering on camera. I don't see flickering in person either. And also the brightness drop is not that big. I'm gonna turn it off. I wish this thing was working. It's almost imperceptible. There you go, you can see the brightness difference. But the thing is, man, when it works, even with the flickering, it is just perfect. It is perfect. So, please, man, I strongly encourage the developer of this app, please, put the time, whatever it takes, get this working flawlessly, if, it's, if that's possible. Increase the you know the settings. So for example, for some games you might not need to lock to 60. Maybe you can run the game at 120, and then you have your you know, 500 hertz OLED, and then that's gonna be better. So add more options. Fix you know figure out what's going on with the flickering. Just work on this thing, man. This is so important. Just imagine. You no longer need to push more than 120 frames because with 120 FPS the input lag is good enough already for most games. So then you can get the clarity of your monitor 500 or even in the future even beyond that once we get 1000 Hz monitors. This is a must. <laughs> This is so important. I am more excited about this app working perfect than GTA 6. Okay. Because this is going to change everything. I mean, if this, let me tell you, if this app was working perfectly right now, I would run and buy the 500 hertz QD OLED monitor. Right now, I ask MSI to send me that monitor for review by the way, but I have to I have to return it. They haven't sent it yet. Uh, it seems like the monitor is flying around uh, from different reviewers. But yes, I, I, I'm excited about 500 hertz, but I cannot get 500 frames per second. I definitely need a CPU upgrade. But with this app working perfect, I don't need 500 frames per second. All I need is 60 or 120. And I can definitely get that with my PC. I don't even need to upgrade the CPU. And everything is going to look crystal clear. Emotion. <laughs> that is massive. People upgrade their GPUs sometimes for a 20%, 30% improvement. <laughs> this is like 6x or more. When it comes to motion clarity. And also, I am surprised that the brightness drop is next to is it's not noticeable at all because the gamma is corrected look it is on right now and it started flickering but you see the difference in brightness this is a night scene let me increase the well you can see the night scene the difference in brightness is there I can see it but it's not like when you turn on BFI on your TV and then suddenly you you cannot even see well because everything is the, the blacks are crushed and the brightness drop is massive i am surprised this thing is not even almost not changing um the, the picture quality it's amazing now it works on sdr only that's another thing that could be um you know improved and updated in the future to get this working with hdr would be great so yeah man please Check out this app. Let me let me show you how to download it. Uh, it's very easy. I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video. It is called Shader Glass. Let me actually uh, get it out of here. So this is the app, Shader Glass. So a couple settings. So first of all, you go to this page, link in the description of the video, and you have to scroll down to Assets. And here, under Assets, you're going to download the first zip because the other two are for the source code which we don't need that because we're not developing these but this is open source so you just download this thing and there you go you have the executable so once you open the shader glass uh, app you need to do 
uh, a couple things. One, first, you need to check, depending on your uh, monitor's refresh rate, you need to check that the right uh, subframes is set. It most likely it will be set because this thing will auto detect the refresh rate. So right now the subframes are set to six. So to go from 60 to 360 Hertz. So six multiplied by 60, you get 360 Hertz. So that is correct. So have your monitor set to the maximum refresh rate, turn off VRR. So no G-Sync, no FreeSync. And then you have to also, uh, based on the developer's uh, recommendation, you have to also come here to advance. So go to processing, which is the first tab of the app, then advance, and then you're going to check these two boxes. The first one says use flip mode, and the second box says max capture rate. There's another one that says use HDR forces flip mode. And I tried that for HDR and it didn't look uh, good. It was looking blown out. So this is maybe something that can be fixed or maybe I'm not using it um, correctly or something. So those, those are the settings you have to use. And then to actually use the app, all you have to do is Control Shift G. So Control Shift G and it's going to put the app in full screen. So right now we are looking at the entire PC, everything, through the app. So when we go into the game, we are actually on the app. That's why when I use RTSS, you know, MSI Afterburner uh, numbers, I am actually seeing the Afterburner numbers for the game and for the app itself. So I have on the control panel, I have VSync, on the NVIDIA control panel, I have VSync, the game locked to 60 FPS, and that's what I see behind this number. So I see the 60 FPS, and I see the, the first frame time graph, which is the 16.6 the millisecond uh, frame time graph. And then I am using RTSS to lock the shader glass at 360 FPS. And that's the second frame time that you see at the bottom. And then to turn on and off the CRT simulation, you use Control Shift A. Control Shift A, you turn it on and off. Again, this, this, I have to get new batteries for this keyboard. So it's off, on right now. You see? It's working on right now and it starts flickering. That's what happens. Now, the developer of this app said that he tried this at 120 and 240 hertz. And he tried this, let me see what are the games that he's, he mentioned that he, he tried this. Again, he needs feedback. He needs feedback. So, if you find that this app works flawlessly on a specific game or a specific case a scenario with a certain frame rate or monitor or something let him know so he so you can help him with your feedback so he wants you to comment in his uh, community uh, a post here on the github discussion number 192 so he wants you to come here um, and then post your feedback actually we see uh, feedback here from hybrid this is very good so let's see what hybrid says it is just an opaque white I see nothing whether I'm in full screen or window it sometimes it is black so then he says edit I changed some something things and now I just plain black I move my mouse around and it duplicates a lot and stays on screen but no image on of the game well maybe he fixed that already because it is working. So the, the developer says, I haven't implemented fractional subframes yet. It should eventually work. The shader does support them. Um, so I'm not sure what the issue is, but um, it is working right now. It just works for a moment. And of course, I didn't test um, many games. I just opened it 
for the first time. This is literally the first game I have tried. I tried 240 hertz and 120 hertz, and I got the same results. It works for a moment, and then it goes and starts flickering. At 120, it works a lot uh, for a lot longer, more stable. But yeah, I want this to work as specifically for this game, Rise of Running, because I am playing it, and you cannot get more than 60 FPS stable for you because that game is just terribly optimized. So you have to lock the game to 60 FPS to get it looking smooth. And this is just the only way, it's the only way I can get a 360 experience on this game, this app. If this works perfect, I'm gonna get an incredible experience on this game. And now the input lag is there. I can see the difference between the, the, the window. So if I do this, it allows me to see the difference between the game and the, and the window. So for example, if I, if I do this, this is a shader glass app. So we are here, we are looking at the game, at the actual game, the 60 FPS, and we're looking at the, at the shader glass uh, lens. And when I turn this on, let me turn it on. I see an input lag difference, but it's actually on this one. I see it, I see it, but it's, it could be better, but I, yeah, it's not a deal breaker. It's, it's just okay. It's not, it's not a big problem. But again, it just works for a moment, man. But when it works, I mean, I'm the happiest. <laughs> I'm the happiest man alive when this thing is working. So yeah, man. Download the app, check it out, you know, check different games, different you know, refresh rates, play around with it. Give the developer feedback and support because we need an app like this that can work for every single game with the CRT simulation. That is massive. That's absolutely huge. It's like, just think about it. All you need is 60 FPS and you get your monitor maxed out all the time for every single game. I mean, this app working perfect, flawlessly, would mean basically run and buy the highest refresh rate all that you can, you can get. L literally. It's like, you have to. <laughs> if this works perfect, you have to run and get you know, 500 hertz you know, QDO. That's what I would get. I mean, you have to. It's, it's a must. <laughs> because it's going to improve your, your gaming experience to a level that is just unobtainable otherwise. I mean, games like this, running like a dumpster fire. <laughs> you go from 60 looking like 500 it's like a CRT, bro. It's just amazing. So we need this working. We need this working. Support the developer. Give the developer feedback. Download this thing. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions.